In this lecture, we will cover whole team approach. Here, the learning objective is to understand the advantages of the whole team approach. This is marked as K2. Let's first see how an agile team is formed. In an agile team, we usually have three to nine people, which includes tester, developer, and customer representatives. Remember this point. In an agile team, we consider the customer representative as part of the agile team. Let's see some of the characteristics of the agile team. The first characteristic is co-location. The team member shares the same workspace because co-location strongly facilitates communication and interaction, which is one of the principles of the Agile Manifesto. The second characteristic is knowledge and skills. While forming the team, we should make sure that we involve everyone with the knowledge and skills necessary to ensure project success. That means here the main focus is to keep the team small and select team members with the necessary skills and knowledge. The third characteristic is daily stand-up meetings. The daily stand-up meeting takes place in the team to communicate the status. This meeting keeps the people in synchronization and promotes more effective and efficient team dynamics. This is done to achieve sustained development which is one of the principles of the Agile Manifesto. So, there were three characteristics of Agile team. Co-location, knowledge and skills, and daily stand-up meetings. Now we will see the benefits of the whole team approach. The first benefit is enhancing communication and collaboration within the team. Since the team is small and co-located, Communication is fast and efficient and encourages team collaboration. The second benefit is enabling the various skill sets within the team to be leveraged to the benefit of the project. While making an agile team, we select people with different skills and knowledge which helps the overall development of the project. Now let's see the most important benefit making quality everyone's responsibility. Since tester, developer, and customer representatives are part of the Agile team, they are all responsible to ensure the desired quality levels. Remember this point, ensuring quality is everyone's responsibility. These were the three benefits of an Agile team. Enhancing communication and collaboration within the team. Enabling the various skill sets within the team to be leveraged to the benefit of the project. Making quality everyone's responsibility. Now let's see an important concept. Power of three. Power of three represents testers, developers, and business representatives. They work together in every step of the development process. Testers work with the business representative to help them to create an acceptance test and test your work with the developer to agree on the testing strategy and to decide test automation approaches. This is how testers can transfer and extend testing knowledge to other team members and influence the development of the product. We saw how testers, developers, and business representatives work together. Now let's define the power of three. The concept of involving testers, developers, and business representatives in all feature discussions is known as the power of three. Summary. An agile team is formed with three to nine people, which includes tester, developer, and customer representatives. Then we covered the three characteristics of an agile team. Co-location, knowledge and skills, and daily stand-up meetings. Next, we saw three benefits of the Agile team. Enhancing communication and collaboration within the team. Enabling the various skill sets within the team to be leveraged to the benefit of the project. Making quality everyone's responsibility. And in the end, we defined the power of three. The concept of involving testers, developers, and business representatives in all feature discussions is known as the power of three. And with this, the lecture ends.